initiative is emotionally charged with their claim that it was Benton Mackay's century-long dream now to have the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail in Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been researching this for two months now, over two months. Uh, I've been in contact with various authorities, uh, historians, uh, authors that are not only knowledgeable, but are experts in knowing who Benton Mackay was and his life and uh, his thoughts and ideas and opinions and his dream. Uh, Benton Mackay's dream was not to have the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail anywhere in Alabama. Uh, I've been in contact, like I say, with a number of folks uh, and this kind gentleman has taken his time uh, because I've poured through this book uh, for hours and hours and gained considerable uh, knowledge about a gentleman by the name of Benton Mackay. This is Benton Mackay's biography and it was written by Larry Anderson. Most of the questions that you want to have answers to that has to do with what Benton Mackay's dream really was, what his original dream was, is in this book. So it's, it's here for everyone to read and to study. But I delved into it to a much deeper extent in making absolutely certain, as best we can make certain, what Benton Mackay's dream might have been. And I can tell you uh, unequivocally that Benton Mackay's dream was not to have the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail in Alabama. Uh, I've written a very short summary of that. Uh, any of you who are interested in, in reading that, uh, you can uh, text me uh, or go to my website and, and uh, I'll have it posted there and you can read it. Very short treatise on uh, what Benton Mackay's dream actually was. Uh, he spoke many, many times, numerous times, about this, the crest of the Appalachian mountain range extending. Back then, the dream was from uh, Mount Washington to Mount Mitchell, and he spoke about that numerous times. And of course, we know now the trail has been extended north to Katahdin, that was being discussed at the time that uh, Benton Mackay had his dream. Uh, that went to flower and, and later the trail northern terminus was moved to uh, Mount Katahdin. The southern terminus uh, from where they assumed or had expected it would be on Mount Mitchell was later moved to a, and they had discussed this at the uh, the uh, meeting of in 1925 where the Appalachian Trail Conference it was called at that time was formed. Uh, there were 20 so people uh, at that meeting and they had great discussion about what the Appalachian Trail should involve, the extent of it, the northern and the southern reaches of the Appalachian Trail. The consensus was and the unanimous vote that was taken at that meeting uh, of which Benton Mackay was in agreement, uh, established the trail northern terminus at Mount Washington and the southern terminus at, uh, uh, I think at that time it was still uh, Mount Mitchell but then was later brought down into Georgia. But the vote at that meeting was to have the trail run from Maine to Georgia. That was the decision that they made and that's exactly where the trail is today. And even though the map that Benton Mackay had sketched to show the details of that, uh, he had some branches and this is what they're clinging to. He showed some branches that were roads and maybe trail that extended not only to Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, 
to Birmingham, Alabama of all places, uh, that this would be the end perhaps of a trail in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, there was no vote taken as best we can tell and again I've researched this and I've talked to the different experts and, and authors and authorities on the life of Bent Mackay. Uh, there's no evidence that, it was, that there was ever a vote taken as to do with the map and the drawings and the different lines and the locations that Bent Mackay had uh, sketched on that map. The vote was that the trail would extend from Maine to Georgia and that's what they voted on at that meeting in 1925. There was never any vote taken on the map itself which would have given maybe a little cred credence to their claim that it was Benton McKay's dream to bring the trail to Alabama. Uh, his, his original dream had the trail from uh, Mount Washington to Mount Mitchell. Uh, that was his original dream. Their claim, uh, the people that are behind this initiative to uh, have the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail moved from Springer Mountain to uh, Mount Chiaha in Alabama and that this was Bent Mackay's dream. Folks, that is not true. It's simply not true.